The name of our product is Aegis. Now you might be wondering what Aegis is. Aegis stands for Automated Enforcement Guardian Intelligence System. It is an automated machine with artificial intelligence which will patrol and guard an area or premise. So what are the problems we hope to solve with Aegis? The main problem we want to solve is the high crime rate in Malaysia. Since the government can't always monitor or schedule patrols in different areas, the Aegis will act as a police patrol and alert its operator if an incident has occurred. The next problem we want to solve is the increased spread of COVID-19 in Malaysia. The number of daily COVID-19 infections is increasing in Malaysia. To help curb the spread of COVID-19, the Aegis can offer face masks and hand sanitizer to the citizens. This is the 3D model of an Aegis unit. As you can see, the Aegis is in the form of a cat. It is designed as a cat because dogs are frowned upon in Muslim culture. To cater to their needs, we designed it as a cat. This is the button that the users can press to activate the face mask dispensers. The Aegis has a face mask dispenser on its back, along with a container within its body to hold the face mask. The Aegis will be able to dispense face masks from its back for users. This is the button that the users can press to activate the hand sanitizer dispenser. The Aegis has a hand sanitizer dispenser on its front right paw. The Aegis will be designed to have a storage to dispense the hand sanitizer. The opening of the dispenser will be covered to prevent dirt from getting in. The mouth of the Aegis can be used to pick up trash and clean its surrounding environment. It can also differentiate between recyclable and non-recyclable materials. The Aegis has speakers in its ears, which will play a pre-recorded audio to politely ask people to practice social distancing if it detects people are standing too close to one another. There are a total of 7 cameras in the Aegis. These cameras will help the Aegis to avoid obstacles and to record footage of its surroundings to be uploaded to the cloud. When an Aegis unit detects a person standing in front or beside it, it will stop to allow user to use its function. The Aegis will be able to call emergency services when needed. An emergency can happen at any time. Aegis will be able to alert and notify operators of what type of emergency and the exact location, which allows the operator to contact emergency services. Aegis will have a built-in reporting function, which makes use of data uploaded to the cloud that enables the product to determine the areas which normally have higher crime rates and peak hours. During peak hours, a group of Aegis units will relocate themselves to respective places to patrol the area as more people will be there. In Malaysia, the weather is unpredictable without a weather forecast. Therefore, Aegis is connected to the internet to allow Aegis units to get up-to-date and live weather forecasts. This is to prevent Aegis units from roaming around when it rains as it might damage it. Aegis will have a GPS function and tracking feature to allow operators to track it. Whenever an Aegis unit is unable to move or has a system failure, operators can track its current location and bring it back to the workshop to get it fixed. The Aegis will have a facial recognition feature which allows it to recognize wanted criminals. 
If an Aegis unit recognizes a criminal, it will contact its operator with information about the criminal's whereabouts. The production and operation of AGs will include the implementation of Industrial Revolution 4.0 element. The first element of Industrial Revolution 4.0 that is implemented in the AGs is 3D printing. 3D printing can be used to create the parts of the AG such as its body. The material that we have decided to use to 3D print the AGs is polyethylene terephthalate glycol modified, also known as PETG. PETG is very durable, chemical resistant, water resistant, easy formable into various shapes, has low shrinkage, does not release toxic fumes or foil odor, and can be recycled. These properties of PETG make it suitable for it to be used to make the parts of AGs. Another element that can be implemented in the AGs is automation. Automation can be used to assemble the AGs after its part have been 3D printed. Minimal automation will be implemented since the AGs will not be purchased by a large community, so the AGs will be constructed upon customer's order. We will also implement data analytics in the production and operation of the AGs. In the production of the AGs, the data collected from the machines in the manufacturing phase can be analyzed to predict maintenance, demands, maintain and oversee warehouse supplies. The data collected by the AGs while it is operating can be analyzed to determine areas with higher crime rate. Artificial intelligence plays a vital role in the production and operation of the AGs. In the production of the AGs, Artificial intelligence can be used in assuring and maintaining the quality of the AGIS unit that is manufactured. Artificial intelligence can also aid in managing and optimizing the supply chain. In the operation of the AGIS, artificial intelligence will allow the AGIS to recognize and avoid obstacles and make decisions. Sensors and Internet of Things will also be implemented in the production and operation of the AGIS. The sensors and other IoT devices can be used in the production process to collect data which will be used in data analytics. The AGIS will also have cameras and sensors installed on it, which will be used to detect any external movement or obstacles around it. Cloud computing can also be implemented in the production and operation of the AGIS. During production, Cloud computing will serve as data storage for the data generated during the manufacturing phase. The data collected by the AGIS during operation will also be saved in the cloud to allow operators and employees to access it in the future.